In this video, I want to talk about why you get an error message out of memory when using your computer. And as before, I'm going to answer the question first and I'll explain later because you're here for the answer and not the long explanation. But if you are here for the long explanation, stay tuned. The answer to your question is no, it is not because you need more physical RAM. And what you need to do is contact whoever made the software that is causing this error and explain to them what are the exact steps you are taking to get that error. And if the error is repeatable, show it to them through a screen share method. So those are your actions on what you should do if you're getting out of memory error. No, you don't need to install more RAM and you just need to contact the developer of the software and tell them about this problem. Uh, rebooting your computer may help, but unlikely. Now let's talk about why you get in that error and what does it actually mean? So to understand why we get in that error message or at least understand how memory in computer works, we need to visualize things a little bit different. Most of us think that we take uh, data from, our application takes data and puts it into RAM and then from RAM it takes it back down, which is not exactly how it works. We need to change the way we visualize how computer operates. You know what, let's, um, maybe we could draw in the sand, you know, and I, I can explain it. Hang on. All right, I got this piece of rock. Let me try to draw something out. Let's see if it makes sense. All right, first we're going to draw our hard drive, right? We know the circle hard drive in a square enclosure. It's got this like arm that reads and writes data. This is our hard drive, right? So let's mark it HD, okay? That's a hard drive. Now over here, we're gonna have our application. So we'll just say app, right? So this is the application that wants memory, right? And this is the hard drive. And now all the way up here, we're gonna have RAM. RAM. And it's gonna be this guy. So kind of like we used to see a microchip, right? That's our RAM. So in the computer, application is going to want to use certain amount of memory. Now the memory, we actually want to visualize it a little bit different. Memory is not RAM. Memory is a file on the hard drive. This file, a nice big file on our, actually on the hard drive, not on RAM. That's our memory. And so application, it says, I need some memory and it is going to get some of this memory here allocated to the application. Okay, so then where does RAM come in? Well, RAM is actually a cache for this big file. It can fit the whole thing in the RAM. It only can take some of it. So some of this file gets cached into RAM and it goes to the application. So if you wanna think about it, this is the actual computer memory and only part of it lives in RAM. And computer tries to figure out uh, which part of this file needs to be in the RAM. And that determines how fast your computer works. In fact, this is when you have computer that is low on memory. What does it do? It doesn't actually run out of memory. It works slowly. So if you want to make a computer work faster, you add memory, you add that cache. But even if you have an old computer that's slow with low RAM, it doesn't actually run out of it. It just works slower. So now that we figured out their application gets some memory from a disk, it gets cached in the RAM. Where is the problem? Why do we run out of something? Well, that has to do with the way how that memory is being given to the application. Um, problem with memory is it gets fragmented very quickly. So there are different chunks of data written in different parts of memory. So whenever application requests memory, it needs to be given a continuous, or is it contiguous? Anyway, sequential chunk of memory. Now there are a few reasons for it. There's some to do with 32-bit and 64-bit, but um, application needs to get sequential chunk of memory. And when it's not able to get that sequential chunk of memory is when you get out of memory error. It is not when there is not enough. It is when the memory is too fragmented and the system cannot allocate sequential chunk of data. I have, I have a bit of a problem here. The tide is coming in and there is a very narrow passage over there for me to get through. So if I miss it, 
I am uh, going to be stuck over here. So I'm going to start walking, uh, walking back. Okay, so to summarize, the error you're getting is not because there is not enough physical RAM available on the computer. When you run out of physical RAM, your computer starts writing to disk, which slows down the computer. Uh, the error has to do with how the application is designed. It's trying to grab too much uh, sequential chunk of memory, and this is what's causing the problem. Uh, whenever you contact a developer, let them know the steps you have taken to create that error. Uh, one, if you are a developer and you get in that error, one thing that could help is rebuilding your application as a 64-bit application, not 32-bit. And this will increase amount of um, addressing it can do to memory that could improve that. I don't want to get into too much of a technical stuff here, but if you build your application as 64-bit, that could help. Anyway, I hope that answers your question as to why you might be getting that error, even though practically you may not be able to do much about it. All right, I will see you on the next video.